that everything comes from the mind sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? I mean, we really believe everything is out there, you know, with this little innocent victim that got plonked on this planet with no choice. Who consulted me, you know, when they plonked me on this planet? And then somehow life is thrown at us, isn't it? And we're living in this trepidation and fear of what might come and all the hope of what we hope will come. But somehow we've got to switch the whole thing, turn the whole thing around, you know. Everything out there, the way Buddha's saying it is, everything out there is a reflection of what's in our mind, you know. So we need to learn to know the mind and learn to change it. And this is not religion. Don't think it's like religion and belief in something. This is how Buddha talks about reality. You know, this is how he talks about reality. And what he's saying is the extent to which we're miserable and bereft and cut off and separate and up and down like yo-yos and being pulled from pillar to post, the extent that we're all that is the extent to which we're not in touch with reality. So this is one way of saying what we're trying to do is remove the veils from our eyes so we can start to see, be in touch with reality. And that's what brings happiness and contentment and therefore empathy and compassion for others. So slowly, slowly, it's a doable job. We have to learn it.